Hey guys, welcome to another video on the Leozu channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best builds for ventures in my opinion. So, I've got two builds here, one for early game, one for late game. So one is going to be used for farming, and one is going to be used for later on, which is more of a minigun build, an infinite minigun build, that I'm sure you'll have lots of success with. So firstly, for the earlier game, when you just want to farm right at the beginning, uh, you're going to be using Clip, who's extremely helpful, because she's a 100% chance of extra materials, when it's used by the anti-material charge and that's the main way you're going to be farming so it's going to get lots of materials and we have blast from the past so you can use the, uh, the anti-material charge more often and it's just extremely helpful uh, there so we have our two dinosaurs so that we can activate it unfortunately there's not much that can help the buff as it is but that's alright giving us extra sh armor and the sh while well, the shield is depleted which obviously we have no shield anyway so that obviously works quite well we also have this for your max health when it's used uh, when your ability is used, you have more max health, which is extremely helpful as well. We also have phased out. Uh, we're going to use the phase shift around the map, so, which may be extremely helpful, which will just boost us around the map, get us to other stones and rocks quicker. And if there's uh, a lower cooldown, then that will obviously be easier, and you can use that more often. And over here, we have the maximum charges by one. So this is obviously helpful. It's quite self-explanatory. You'll just get an extra one, allowing you to have four instead of three, I believe. And then since you'll be doing lots of farming and you'll be getting lots of loot as it is, you can also have coconuts which will just help you with your fight at the end with the atlas or uh, the ride the lightning and just defending the last, uh, defending or doing the mission that you have to do yourself anyway. And then for our gadgets we have the banner or adrenaline rush. This could be changed depending on your team. Uh, you could you could use a supply drop if you'd like to get more materials but I think this could be helpful just for... Uh, in general just to help your team now we're going to go over here this is probably going to be more useful for around 25 to 50 maybe even later or earlier depending on how you're doing whether you're playing with teammates and etc so we're going to be using commando spitfire which allows us our cooldown of the minigun to be decreased by 66 percent this is incredibly important so it means you have it up for a lot longer as it is an infinite minigun build and then it's going to be it's going to do the same here when you use happy holidays and we're going to use the three heroes that are going to activate Happy Holidays. So, we're going to have Swamp Knight, which increases our damage, which is just helpful because it means the mini, gun will, the, the mini, mini gun will do a lot more damage to missed monsters and just damage in general to the missing health that you have. Battle Beats, if you're doing a good job on destroying all your enemies, you if you destroy 10, you shall get a uh, buff with more attack speed, uh, damage, more crits. It's just an extremely helpful uh, buff to the support team. So this this is a must-have. First cup of the day. This allows you to do more crits and have more damage. This is extremely helpful because with the minigun, you are not going to be hitting a crazy amount of crits. So with this, uh, you're going to hit more crits and those crits are going to be worth more, which help you beat those miss monsters a lot easier. Ain't done yet. This increases the duration of the minigun by 5 seconds. This is extremely important as it allows you to have it for 5 extra seconds which uh, decreases the time from 10 seconds while it's not up to 5 seconds while it's not up. Which is obviously very important so you can have it up for a lot longer. The Boomstick. Boomstick increases your going commando damage by 25%. Once again, it's one of those self-explanatory upgrades, which uh, just increases the damage by more, allowing you to kill the zombies quick and help your teammates. Once again, for the gadgets, I, I choose Adrenaline Rush and Slow Field, just to slow down the enemies if they get a bit overwhelming while you're recharging that minigun. And then Adrenaline Rush just to help your team. Once again, a banner could be quite helpful just to help your team in defending the, the point. Hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you did, make sure to sub and like to the channel. But don't feel that you have to, but check out some of our other videos.